Hi guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on FileZilla. FileZilla is a FTP client, which is a file transfer transfer protocol client, uh, or FTP. So you've probably heard FTP being thrown around before. What it is, it's uh, when you transfer files from your local computer on your hard drive and you transfer them to where your host is. So, FileZilla is the client I use, so let's get in and have a look. This is the interface here. Uh, at the moment, I'm not connected to any remote site because the remote files will come up here. This is my local uh, hard drive here, and at the moment, this is just one of my folders where I keep some of my WordPress files. So, what we need first up is your FTP info. So, you're going to need a host name which will be your domain.com. You're going to have a username which your host or your webmaster provided you and you're going to have a password too. So I'm going to put in my password right now and I'm going to press connect and what should happen is we'll connect to the remote server where my domain is and we'll be able to see exactly what is in there and that's what's come up so this is the root directory of my domain clintmar.com and um, straight away it's obvious to see that there's a WordPress installation uh, in the root directory uh, there's the index PHP uh, on top of that though you have your um, WP admin content includes which gives it away that it's a WordPress um, directories so now we're connected to the remote server. What we do is transfer files from our local hard drive here and drop them over here. Now the most common things you'll do, especially for WordPress nowadays, is to transfer uh, a new theme across to your web server. You used to have to do your plugins as well, although since the uh, WordPress 2.7 has come out, you can now do that from within the admin panel. For now, we still have to do themes via FTP. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, I'm going to choose a theme here. It's called the Blue Chill Out Theme. Now, where we have to um, transfer them to is to WP Content. So let's expand that. And we're going to see here that we have plugins, themes, upgrades, and uploads. All themes have to be transferred across to your themes folder. And the same, any plugins that you have, you can um, put into your plugin folder. So, what I do now, there's a few ways you can do this. I find the easiest is just to left click on the theme and drag it across to here and just drop it. Straighten the themes. Now you'll see here, these are the files that are transferring across. That's the number of files there, and it's transferring, transferring across. They're in the queued files. This here is your successful transfers, and we'll just watch it go across. So basically, it's taking all those files from within this folder here and dumping them straight across into my themes folder on the remote host and that's all you have to do is just drag and drop um, this stuff is not rocket science it's incredibly easy to do so it's just a couple of files left okay so it's, there's no more files to be transferred which means it's all gone in so Let's have a look in our themes, and we should have a theme in there called your blue chill out theme. So remember, this is on the remote side, and there we go. There is the blue chill out theme. It's already in there. So now, if we were to go into our uh, WordPress admin panel through a uh, browser such as Firefox, we'd be able to go into the themes, and the blue chill out theme would be there. And if you wanted to use it, you could just press activate. So basically that is all there is to it. It's a simple drag from your local hard drive and drop it into the, the folder where it needs to be on the remote host. Very simple stuff. 
So just to uh, summarize, we need our host name, which will be yourdomain.com, your username and your password, which your uh, hosting account would have provided to you, or your, or your webmaster, or your geeky friend, and hit connect. This is your uh, local hard drive, and what will happen here is all your remote files on the remote server will appear, and we can just drag and drop. And likewise, if you need to get some files from your remote side, you can drag them from here and drop them to your local hard drive, and you can edit from there. And that's all there is to it. I hope you can now successfully work out how to use the FileZilla FTP client.